Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello, I'm Ben, I'm Ben. Hi. So the cast, they've just turned up, they've just got off the bus to Sire and Sester. We're busy setting up for the launch, which happens tonight. It's going to be the first time that we open the doors to the theatre for our audience to come in and see what we've been up to for the last couple of years. It's a glorious building. It is beautiful. This is very beautiful. It's so exciting to walk into a theatre space and know that you're going to be the first people to use it. Within a couple of hours, they start rehearsals, then we're going to throw them on stage in front of 200 people in a full auditorium. We're doing it really, really backwards. It's a performance before we started the rehearsals, in a way. It was great to just jump in head first and start just playing. Dan's and John's interpretation of the music is being like a lot more earthy and a lot more folky. That's a really unified vision and everyone's kind of hopped on board with that. Winter's on the wing, here's a fine spring morn. We don't have like a band separate from us. We are the band, so all the cast play like clarinets and accordions and pianos and guitars, which is a really like fresh take on the Secret Garden. We've just been trying to keep the sound as honest as possible. My job, I guess, is to try and unscramble the big Broadway score and reduce it once again to the sort of more folky elements that are inherent in the score, really. I think these lovely reduced things will tell the story in a cleaner, neater and ultimately a more modern way. It's not quite the meek and mild Victorian tale that we all sort of know and love. It's, it's all about freedom. Please welcome to the stage the cast of the Secret Garden. Let it grow. I'm a great lover of spontaneity, Jenny, our Martha. I just gave her this section yesterday and she ended up just taking the mic. If we can harness that kind of spontaneous creativity, the show's gonna be so exciting. It's very current. I think it could even possibly be one of those shows that could take the musical theatre industry into a new place. As somebody who's lived in Sirencester for the last three years, there is a great culture for folk music and rock music. This production is a celebration of that culture that we have right here in the Cotswolds. This is the Cotswolds version of The Secret Garden. Come to the garden.